Hello everyone and welcome to another video. It's Joe from Get Good Drums here. And um, I thought I would show you how to put a second ride into One Kit Wonder Metal. What? A second ride? Yeah, second ride. Because if it isn't for some reason metal enough, then a second ride, that's more metal. In case you wondered what it might sound like. Here we go. Oops. Bonus points if you recognize what that's from. So, I have set this up in Logic, but I don't want this. I'm gonna show you how to set it up from scratch. So, we wanna have a instance of contact, and we're gonna load up two one kit wonder metals inside the same instance of contact. One, a two. I'm gonna just whack it onto the uh, mix ready presets on both. Now we're gonna go up and click this little eye symbol and turn the MIDI channels of both instances to Omni. That basically means it's just gonna read uh, MIDI from every available MIDI channel. Um, whereas if we left it as is, this would have been reading MIDI channel two and this one would have been reading MIDI channel one. So now they're both reading the same MIDI channel. We're gonna wanna go into the mixer inside our DAW and, uh, oh yeah, should have done this first. Make sure you're running uh, the multi-output version with stereo tracks. That's just gonna reload. There we go, and now we can add a track. We only need one to do this. Um, if you are routing all your stuff out from One Kit Wonder already, just add um, another one. Y will become apparent. So by default, these are both going out of the same stereo channel. And that is fine. We're gonna call this one main and ride two. Now we're gonna wanna go into contact, uh, get the outputs up and do the same here. Main, ride two. Now just click this exclamation mark because then those names are gonna be reflected in the outputs on the libraries. We can get rid of this now because we don't need to look at it. So you can see we've got main and ride two there. We're gonna leave the first instance as it is and go to the second instance. We're gonna do the overhead and send that to ride two. We're not gonna do anything else. That's all we're doing for the outputs. Now you can see if I click the symbols, it should be coming through this ride two channel. It is. The reason we've only done that is because we want the room and everything else to go to the main output so it sounds uniform and like it's part of the same kit. Now a setting in logic that I'm gonna change is the panning settings I'm using. So I'm gonna right click it and change from balance to stereo pan. I'm then gonna pan this over to somewhere around there. And as you can hear, we've got a left and right right. Next thing we're gonna to wanna to do is sort out the mapping. Go into settings. As you can see, everything's mapped and it's gonna be the same mapping as this because I haven't altered it. I'm gonna clear the map on the second instance. And then we're gonna to wanna to go into the settings on this and find some notes which aren't used up. Um, I did this earlier. So I know for instance that um, D sharp three and E three are clear of other articulations and are gonna be next to the right hand ride. So it makes it very nice and simple. So for bell, D sharp three, for bow, E3. So now, obviously if I just leave it as is, those rides are gonna sound identical and we want some sort of change in the tone, in the pitch to differentiate between those two rides. So I'm just gonna quickly make a MIDI region and program in some rides. Cool, so we've got those both triggering. I'm gonna pan it over slightly more just to get that a bit more sort of over to the left. So how are we gonna differentiate the tones? We're just gonna mess with the master tuning option on the second library. So if you want the left right to be slightly lower in pitch uh, to imitate a larger symbol, 
then you would decrease it. If you want it to be slightly higher to imitate a smaller symbol, then you would raise it. I personally like where that's lying. But we want to put in a groove to really find out. And there we go. So there it is. Sounds pretty cool, I think. Now, if you own any of our other libraries, of course, you could actually use another ride symbol completely and use the same techniques to achieve this. But I made this video assuming the only library you've bought is the One Kit Wonder Metal, and you can achieve this. So this, I mean, using this technique, you could, you know, put another china on the left. Um, you could just use the bell of the ride symbol on the left. So it's like a little bell symbol. Uh, it really opens up loads of ideas and possibilities for you to use. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching. I hope you found it useful. If you're not a member of our Facebook forum, head over to facebook.com slash group slash DGD forum. We're now answering questions, showing little tips and tricks, etc. And until next time, goodbye.